At Lions Park in Shakopee, <laughs> Bradley Hill keeps a constant eye on his kids. You guys having fun? And on his bank account. We make a lot of purchases with the, you know, debit card or credit card. Never been a victim of fraud, but he understands the hardship. People don't want to be, you know, taken advantage of, and that's a big form of taking advantage of somebody, you know, what they work for. City leaders in Shakopee are about to crack down on fraud by regulating the purchase of gift cards. It affects us all. Brenda Arvidson spoke at last week's city council meeting about her experience. I learned that my card was cloned and the majority of the purchases were gift cards. The city council then passed what's believed to be the first ordinance in Minnesota requiring an ID to purchase a Visa, MasterCard or American Express gift card with a credit card at retail stores. Several years ago, frauds became one of the top three crimes reported in our city. Police Chief Jeff Tate says his department sees fraud after fraud involving these gift cards. We don't think this is asking too much. If you go to a store and buy a bottle of NyQuil, uh, you're going to be asked to produce your ID. This is just one more product that we're asking people to show an ID, and only if you're buying it with a credit card. The new rule goes into effect Saturday, and Tate says other metro municipalities are taking notice. Already we've seen a couple cities reach out and ask for a copy of the ordinance as well. <laughs> Back at Lions Park, yeah, Bradley is on board. If you can if you can crack down on that, that's just great. In Shakopee, Alex Hagan, <laughs> Care 11 News.